Hello folks, Everchanger here with episode 2 of Pokemon Liquid Crystal. Last time we got our very first Pokemon, Totodile, right here. And we were asked to go see Mr. Pokemon about an important discovery that he made. Also last time we had some issues with the clock not working. Unfortunately I did some research and it would appear that the emulator that I'm using does not currently support the clock in the GBA. I know it works in the Nintendo DS emulation, but here for some reason it simply doesn't work yet. If that gets updated at any time throughout the series, I'll be sure to turn the clock on, but I think for now, I don't think it's really going to detract from gameplay that much, so I think I'm just going to ignore it. If we run into a situation where we absolutely need the clock, I doubt there is one, but if we do, then I'll try and figure out a solution. So today we're going to head out to see Mr. Pokemon pass through Cherry Grove City and all that jazz. Route 29. Oh, I love the music. <laughs> Alright. Looks like the dude has gotten old. <laughs> we all remember the dude. Alright, let's get in the grass. Maybe we'll get our very, very first battle. <laughs> oh, we're not. I love this music. Alright. Oh, Tuscany of Snowflakes? Um, alright. Silk Scarf. This is one of the weekday siblings. I don't remember which day it is, because for some reason she didn't say. I don't know, like, what day she spawns in. I mean, I know that it's, it's Thursday when I'm recording this. I just don't know what time the game thinks it is. Is there anything over here? Like there was in the original? Yeah, there is. Aha. Uh -huh. Another potion. Yeah, they're just handing out potions like freebies. They do that in every game, though. Alrighty. Up, oh, first battle. Here we go. Wild Rattata appeared. Now, this is interesting. The Pokemon names are all in lowercase. Could have sworn they were in uppercase when they introduced them in the last episode. But anyway, what do we got? Scratch. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> Man, Scratch. One move that we're all used to using over and over and over for the first two hours of the game before we get something decent. Alright. Looks like they got the headbutt trees in. This tree could be headbutted. Hopefully they let you rebuy TMs in this game or they put in a move tutor or something because I would hate it if they just handed out one use of headbutt and you had to use it wisely, so to speak. I wanted to take a break, so I saved to record my progress. Yes, saving is good. Saving is very, very good. Let's see what they did with the berry trees up here. Oh, it appears there's still... Oh, there's two of them. Alright. Another battle here? What do we got now? Pidgey. Awesome. Tackle... No, not tackle. Scratch. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's the grind. Oh, yes, critical. Awesome. Yeah, it's still only 11. Alright, so what are we doing here? Fruit bearing tree, two Oran berries. Yes. Oh yeah, since the clock doesn't work, these won't regenerate. Guess I'll have to use them wisely. I wonder if you, like, plant them like you do in Ruby Sapphire. I'm not gonna try it, because since the clock isn't working right now, I don't want to throw away a berry by burying it in the sand here, if that's how it works, because then I just never get it back. Huh. Apparently I can't talk to this kid. Maybe he's not implemented yet. Good signs, bad signs? Hmm. Alright, so here we are in Cherry Grove City. Let's see, will this old man give me the running shoes? Uh, let's see. Yes, indeed, I am a rookie. To this game, at least. <laughs> Alright, teach me a few things, sir. This is a Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn about them. Isn't that your job, sir? This is a Pokemon Mart. They sell balls for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Balls catch items. Remember that, folks. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their prized Pokemon there. 
See why I need practice? I keep stumbling over my words. This is the sea, as you can see. Some Pokemon are only found in water. Yep. And this is your house, right, dude? <laughs> Here, it's my house. Thanks for your company. Let me give you a small gift. Obtain the map expansion card. I guess that'll go in the Pokegear. Yep. Pokegear becomes more useful as you add cards. I wish you luck on your journey. Thank you, my good sir. No running shoes? I want to run. Walking is so slow. When I was a wee lad, I was a hotshot trainer. Here's a word of advice. Catch lots of Pokemon. Treat them all with kindness. Indeed we shall. I'm saying indeed a lot. Alright, let's check out the Pokemon Center. Ooh, it's nice and shiny and white in here. I like that. Very, very fancy. Alright. Good evening, you're out late. But it's bright outside. Alright. <laughs> oh, I wish I could get this clock working, but from what I can tell, it's not exactly in the cards at the moment. Because the emulator I'm using is probably the easiest one for me to use at this point. And if I can't use the clock, then I think it's probably a, a worthy sacrifice. I like how they put in the the sign right here, the rotating one from Harko and Soul Silver. Attention to details, man. Alright, let's head out to Route 30. I was hoping he would give me the shoes there. Alright. Is that a ledge or is that like because you could jump down this in the original. I'm curious to see how that works. Alright. Moment of truth. We can jump down this. That is interesting. Alright. Awesome. Ah, more wild Pokemon. This time it's Hoot Hoot. And we're just getting all sorts of variety. I'm liking this. Scratch! Alright, we're down in the yellow. Two shots are always nice in this in this part of the game. Whenever you get stuck with, with a three hitter, you're like, Ugh! Oh, come on! Ugh. Ay, ay, ay. It's a struggle. <laughs> Who'd have fainted? Alright. Route 30, Violet City to the north. Awesome. There used to be a berry... There was a berry tree right here in the originals. I don't know why it's not here now. Maybe the guy inside gives it to us? I don't know. Um, Pokemon eat berries. Well, my Pokemon get healthier by eating a berry. Here, I'll share one with you. Another Oran berry. Sweet. Totodile came holding an Oran berry, which is basically the equivalent of the regular berry in Generation 2. So that's all fine and dandy good. Alrighty. What could this be? Antidote. Sweet. That should protect us if we ever get poisoned. Mr. Bogon's house? It's a bit further ahead. Let's see what they did with these guys up here battling their Pokemon. Go, Nidoran! Tackle! What? This is a big battle. Leave me alone. Wasn't that a Rattata in the original? Nah, oh well. I'm liking the battle music they put in there. Hopefully we'll be hearing more of that in the future. Mr. Pokemon's house to the north. Sweet. Alright, let's just wade through the grass here. More more wild battles. That's always lovely. Poliwag, man. Just all this new, new, new. I don't think we've had any repeats yet. Oh, come on. Bubble ain't gonna do anything. It's a Totodile. <laughs> Alright. Oh, my goodness. Repels are going to be our friends in this series, I can just tell. <laughs> Alright, I think next next scratch should take it down. Yes! Awesome. Can we get a level 6? Indeed we can. Awesome. Dododow grew to level 6. Cool. Alright, and if I'm not mistaken, yep. Here we are at Mr. Pokemon's house. I'm just gonna grab these berries real quick. Pekka berries, or Pecha berries, or however you pronounce it, I don't know. <laughs> you need to have like a little guide in the Pokemon games that tells you how to pronounce everything. Because otherwise you gotta struggle through watching the anime to get your your tutorials on all that. Alright, so we have made it to Mr. Pokemon's house, and I think we will be going inside in the next episode, so next time on Pokemon Liquid Crystal, we are going to go see what 
Mr. Pokemon's big, huge, amazing, this time it's real discovery is. See you guys next time.